Hello my little butterflies, in this video is going to be my top 5 Wednesday video. Okay guys, top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group um, created by Lainey from Gingeries Lainey and I will link that in the description box below. But it is now being moderated by someone else. Um, I think her name on YouTube is Thoughts on Tones, I think. I think. Um, I'm going to link it in the description box below but... I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm not prepared for this. I just like decided to film hey, all at one time and get it out of the way because I don't know if I'm going to film again before this top five Wednesday is supposed to be up. But the topic for this top five Wednesday is books that would make a good video game. And I saw the topic, I was like, I got to do that because I know exactly what books would make great video games. And because I'm like so lazy, I'm not even, I didn't even take the books off my shelf. So I'm going to be inserting pictures because I just, I didn't feel like taking all the books off the shelf and then having to put them back on. So, the first book that I think will make a great video game, and I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm about to say, is Red Queen by Victoria Aviar. I just think that'll make a really good, like, action game slash kind of like, like, story-driven kind of game, you know? I think that would be a really good game. I would play it. Like, I think somebody should make that into a game. I'm just saying. I would play that. I would spend my money on that. I think that would make a good game. That's a good plot-driven game. My number two is An Ember and the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And that, y'all already know, that would just be an awesome action game altogether. Like, I think that would be really, kind of like how Black Ops is, that would be a really good action game because of all of the action that goes on in that book. And, like, just everything that they have, like, all the quests you have to go through. Like, you know, y'all. That would be a really good game. I would sit down. I think I could sit down for hours and play in a game that was centered around an Ember and the Ashes. I just think I could. Like, just imagine them having, like, a part, like, at the beginning of the game where it's, like, you know, you're, like, like, you, like, you can decide if you want to be, like, a student in, like, the academy or if you want to be, like, one of the slaves, kind of, like, in, like, Laia's position. And, like, if you decide to be, like, a student, like, you have to go through all of these, like, training kind of things. And, like, you know, part in the book where they have, like, all the trials they was going through, that part would be really fun in the game to have to go through all these different trials and pass these trials and, you know, all this. And then, at the end, like, how the book ended, you know, you have to decide, are you going to, you know, take this path or are you going to take this path? You know, and, like, that would be a good, like, like, cliffhanger to leave the game on, too, just like the book was. My number three is the Luna Chronicles. And I want I only read Cinder so far. But speaking just from Cinder, don't y'all think that that would make a really good game? Like that would be a really like good like cutesy kind of game. Like it wouldn't be a game that's like too violent or nothing. Because I mean not too, like read that book you don't really see, you don't really feel like something violent is happening. You know, it's like, it's fairy tale retelling, tell you know. So that would make a good like simulation kind of game like how can I say this like it'd be good like it'd be good for like kids to play and like teenagers you wouldn't have to worry about or oh, too much violence happening I think it'd be fun it's a good it's a good quest game to do um I just think it'd be a really cute like a really cute game pretty much like a really cute but fun but you know not boring because you know a lot of cute games are boring so it'd be cute and fun and like questy like I'm bad at describing this show I really am so stick it out with me just hang in here with me the fourth book that I think will make a really good game is my my not so perfect life by Sophie Kinsella and I say that because I think this would be a game kind of like how The Sims are like I think my not so perfect life as a game will resemble The Sims because it's like you can work and you can make money and you can you know build your whole life and you know manage this kind of business and manage that kind of business you know it'll be kind of like the sims and i like a game like that you know i like those games that where you are like you're kind of like living the game you know and you have to like it's kind of like your life i like the lifestyle games like that and that would be that kind of game that i would see that as and i think that would be a really good game because i like those kind of games every now and then because they like gives you a breather and it's like relaxing to play games like that and my fifth game i think would make a really good game is elementary she read and and I say that would make a really good like mystery game, kind of like um, one of the games like you're trapped in a room, like escape. We have to like get out of a room, but uh, you know it'll have more of a storyline to it though, you know. So I think that would make a good like mystery solving game, like kind of like a murder mystery, like a criminal mystery game, like L.A. Noir. I really did love that game. If y'all ever played that, y'all have to go like that game was so good. Like y'all go find a used copy because that game. I 
I, I don't think it was for the 360. It was for Xbox 360. So it was an older game. It's not nothing that like just came out. But it, I would think that that would kind of resemble that kind of game, like a police off, like a police crime solving game. And I like games like that too, cause those are fun. Like I like being a law on the game. Like yeah, I'm a law. You don't listen to me. Let me go serve, solve this case right quick. And put this one in handcuffs. You know? It's fine. It's like and it's like a um, it's like a brain thinker game. It's almost like a little brain teaser game. So I think. That would make a really good game in the future if anybody decided to turn it into a game. Um, but it, I think any Sherlock Holmes kind of like centered around mystery thing would make a good game. Even though I've never read Sherlock Holmes, but you, you see what I'm getting at? Any kind of mystery book would make a good game because you can pretty much do anything with it and turn it into something. So yeah, I hope that top five wins. It was not too horrible. I'm not really that good when it comes to like explaining stuff like that. You know, I kind of like off the top of my head. I would really have to like sit down and like really think about it. But I wanted to film it though before before you knew it, it was Wednesday and I never filmed the video and now all of a sudden I'm been putting up a late top five Wednesday video and I'm trying to start being on time for stuff, so wish me luck. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me though and watching this like I'm pretty sure it's gonna be kinda like painful video to watch. But thank y'all anyway and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.